Synthetic controls are one of the most important models in data science, and they come up all the time in some of the toughest case studies around in interviews at Meta and Amazon and Netflix. So what is a synthetic control and when do you use it? So you use it in cases where you want to know what is the impact of something that happened. So it could be a marketing campaign or a feature launch. But for whatever reason, you did not run an experiment and you only have one small set of treated users or treated regions. When you don't have an experiment, you have to create a synthetic control group, one that you would have gotten in the case of a randomized trial. Specifically, the synthetic control is formed as a weighted average of untreated units that when you combine them in a certain way using various statistical methods, they look very similar to the treated unit in the pretreatment period. The goal then is you look at the gaps after the treatment effect. So here in this case, that gray dotted line, and you would say, this is how much the feature caused the change. But here's where the risky. You see, I generated this data. I generated 20 control regions and one treated region. But notably, when I generated the data, I made it so that there is no treatment effect. The treatment effect, the true ground truth is zero. However, when we fit the model, we find spurious correlations. Because we have so many untreated units, we're effectively able to fit anything we want. And that gives us a spurious relationship, which of course, dissolves after the treatment when we stop matching the data and it makes it look like there's a treatment effect that's not really there.